So there's a theory out there that basically goes all the drugs and everything that was on the plane did not belong to Juice World. They were actually uh, being transported, even though it was by him. It was actually being transported at the behest of the people that were with him. And uh, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, that's extremely plausible. These rappers are not the bosses you guys think they are. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I right, so yeah. So apparently, okay. First of all, there's a theory that uh, somebody put up in my comment section. His name is G's Up. Shout out to G's Up. So he put up a theory, and coincidentally, this is also something that had. That that uh, people put up theories all the time in the comment section of videos, but this is definitely a theory that I had already been uh, messing around with in my brain, and that theory is the people who were with Juice World, that was their drugs, that was their guns, it was most likely not his. Now, real quick before we go any further, I remember, just just bear with me, I remember in the interview that a rapper did. I'm not going to say what rapper it is because I'm not trying to snitch because, you know, we got this new culture. And even if even though the rapper said it himself, I'm not going to tell you which rapper it is. And that rapper had been in. If you know, you know, if that rapper had been in a relationship with a uh, female that does um, porn and during the time of this particular relationship, she used to fly back and forth from America to other countries. And what they were doing were. They was shipping drugs back and forth with her and, the, you know, the people that was flying with her, the females that was going with her. So they were sending drugs or monies or whatever it was. They was just doing some, some, some shit and they was doing it back and forth. So I just wanted to explain to you real quick that a practice that is done is you have these rappers that fly on their private planes and at times, not just rappers, just people in general. Let's not make it seem like it's rappers. We're about to talk about Rollo in like two seconds. But let's not seem like it's just rappers. We're about to maybe mention um, ARAB in like two seconds. But let's not pretend it's just rappers. It happens with, I'm going to assume, anyone that has a private jet and wants to make a couple of bucks or has somebody that's in their pocket. <laughs> it just happens. Anyway. What they were doing as far as this rapper and his uh, girlfriend was, they was moving drugs on private planes. Now, with that being said, I don't know if the planes was private, but they was moving it from one country to another. Now, a lot of rappers have private planes where they, as they rent them, some of them own them, but they rent them. For everybody that don't know, I think Drake has like one of the biggest, largest private planes like in history now or some shit. I don't know. Anyway, there's a good chance that those people that were with Juice World, yes, they might have been his security, but they might have been part of an organization. Now, I'm not saying that they were, so don't anybody like come at me. But what I'm saying is, is that it wouldn't be outside of the realm of possibilities that the guns and drugs that were on those pl that plane was not Juice World's. So therefore, when they got stopped, he panicked. First of all, it doesn't even make sense to take a handful of drugs to hide them if you have 70 pounds on the plane that you know about. I'm going to say this again. It doesn't make sense to take a handful of drugs to hide them if you're on a plane with 70 pounds of drugs that you know about. I think 
this whole situation, and I'm not saying because you know, hell, I don't know, but I think this whole situation is it needs to be looked at through the scope of is there a chance that Juice World didn't know that there was 70 pounds of marijuana on the plane? Maybe he knew about the codeine. Maybe he knew about the other stuff. Who knows? Maybe he knew about the guns. Who knows? But what sense would it make to take a handful of or how many other pills he took to hide them when you have pills on the other pills on the plane, 70 pounds of weed on the plane, bottles of codeine on the plane? It don't even make sense. Now, with that being said, obviously, uh, information is going to break sooner or later. Um, the police or somebody is going to let us know a little bit more about the situation. Um, I think one of the individuals actually was able to make bail. Also, could I, let me just add this about the whole bail thing. I'm not accusing anybody of being a snitch or anything like that. Don't get this confused. But this is the second time, the second time. Juice World's plane was stopped and searched that we know of the first time. And I want to apologize because I did a video the other day and I kept saying California is where um, this particular tragedy happened at. But no, before is a previous time Juice World's plane was actually uh, checked and that was in California. So I, I just got the two stories mixed up. I know about the first one and I just got the second one mixed. I just got I just got them a little confused. So pardon me. Anyway, his plane had got checked in California. Nothing was found or nothing is reportedly to be found. They were let go. Now, this time when his plane got checked, this is what happens. The guys on the plane with him say, hey, you know, he took, a, he took some pills. We don't know what pills they were. He took them when he was on the plane. Now, with that being said, there is a weird situation where we keep having these rappers be on planes catching seizures. Sometimes up in the air they're catching seizures. Sometimes, you know, in Juice World's case, after the plane lands, they're catching seizures. I don't know what to say. Um, besides, I remember Wayne caught two seizures on the plane and then he stopped taking planes, I believe. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he stopped taking plays altogether, but I remember they had the, the, the bus that was shot up, right? They got a guy in jail right now, locked up for like 20, 30 years. I don't know how many years they gave him, but um, that was supposed to be the ex-manager of, I think at, the, at that time he was actually the manager of uh, Young Thug. But anyway, he's in jail for shooting up um, Little Wayne's, pardon me, Little Wayne's uh, bus. So, with that being said, what the hell was going on on these planes? What in the hell was happening? Look, I get it. A lot of people think that these artists are rich. So, since a lot of y'all think these artists are rich, since a lot of y'all guys think these artists own all of those clothes you see them wearing, they don't own all of those clothes. Since you think they, they own all of these cars you see them driving, they don't own all of those cars. Since you think they own all of those houses you see, they don't own all of them houses. You think you think they own all of them? They do not own all of those planes. Okay? I think Lou Duvall keep flying around in his plane showing people. I actually own my plane. I'm flying my plane. Me and my plane go all over the place. While these other dudes, they're renting these planes. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I can't rent a plane, so I'm damn sure not making fun of them. But the point that I'm making is this. There is something going on with these rappers in these planes. Other people have noticed me telling you this right now is not me snitching me telling you this right now is telling you watch out what you all put on these planes rappers. You got people in your teams. And these some of these people that's on your team is talking to the police and lining you up. Some of these people don't feel like they're being paid right. Maybe some of these people get caught up in other crimes and so they need somebody to snitch on and, and then you know. They need to get to the plug and they're trying to get to the plug through you. Maybe you are the plug. Who know? But remember the Rallo situation? Rallo had a plane. It landed. I think they said, I, I don't even remember how much weed they said was on Rallo's plane. It was like over 200 pounds or something. It was on, on, on Rallo's plane. King, er, um, pardon me. That was absolutely a mistake. Um, Then you have... Uh, because I was thinking of Philly. Then you have A.R. Rab, 
And uh, part of the situation that he got caught up in, he was mentioning how he had a connect that was like, you know, I think from Mexico or some shit. So, yeah, the, the FBI is watching. The FBI is watching all your social media. The FBI is watching what country, what states you move in, in and out of. The FBI is watching you guys. The FBI is watching anybody. They watching everybody. Let's just be honest with you. The way social media is set up now, you don't need a, but a couple of people. All you need is a couple of a couple of mofos that want to sit around on their phone all day. <laughs> That's all you need. You can monitor the whole entire freaking internet. So that's what's going on. Um, we're gonna find out a little bit more later, most likely. I think this is extremely fishy. I think that there's better than a good chance. Shout out to G's up once again. He said he left this in the comment section, and I was already thinking about this. But I think that there's better than a good chance that those guns and drugs that was on the plane wasn't even Juice Worlds. Y'all gotta stop thinking these rappers are bosses. A lot of these rappers are not bosses. A lot of these rappers, uh, I'm, I'm not or workers. I don't know no other way to put it. A lot of these rappers are work or nurses. Pardon me, workers. They are not bosses. With that being said, leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. If you have any theories, leave it down there also. But yo, a lot of these rappers are not bosses. Stop thinking that they are. A lot of these dudes do not control their own destinies. A lot of these dudes can't go nowhere without other people telling them that they could go. Real quick, just so we could be clear on this. Takashi said he wanted to move out of Brooklyn. Oh man, y'all might not know all this about this. Takashi wasn't able to move out of Brooklyn. Even though he moved out of Brooklyn, he wasn't able to move out of Brooklyn. There was a couple of other people that also have similar situations. It's not just gangs and the people that you holding you in a spot. Remember, Meek Mill wasn't able to move out of Philly. All of this shit is tied in together, one way or the other. These rappers are not bosses. Not all of them. Some of them got people that they run. Yeah. Or should I say uh, that they're over? Yes. But the majority of these rappers, they straight workers. It's their job to influence the public. Period. Anyway, that's all we got on this one. Leave it down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, I feel bad that there's going to be a lot of kids... And that there are a lot of kids that even with this tragedy that just happened to Juice World, they're still going to think that it's not a big deal to get involved with Lean. They're still going to think it's not a big deal to get involved with Perks. They're still going to think it's not a big deal to just destroy them their future with drugs. I don't know a lot of Juice World music, but to hear that he was talented and then to see him die at the age of 21... I mean, we got to want more for our future. And our future is the kids. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.